Jumping out at you. Understanding this English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that you might have heard in movies, books, or casual conversations. Jump out at someone. Stick around as we break down its meaning, usage, and give you examples to help you understand how to use it in your daily English conversations. When we say something jumps out at someone, we're not talking about physical jumping. Instead, this idiomatic expression means that something is very noticeable or strikingly obvious to a person. It can grab someone's attention immediately, almost as if it were jumping out to say, look at me. In visual perception, imagine you're looking at a painting, and one color is so vibrant that it catches your eye before anything else. You might say, the red color really jumps out at me. This means the red is strikingly visible and grabs your attention first. In reading or information gathering, when you're reading a book or scanning through a document, certain information might stand out due to its relevance or uniqueness. For instance, in the report, the statistic about rising sea levels really jumped out at me. Here, the phrase signifies that the statistic was particularly noteworthy or surprising. In everyday conversations, this phrase can also describe a feature or trait in someone that makes a strong impression. For example, her honesty really jumps out at you. It means her honesty is very apparent and leaves a strong impression. To use this phrase correctly, remember it's about highlighting something that is immediately noticeable or striking. It's often used in a positive context but can be neutral or negative depending on what is standing out and why. The key is the element of surprise or strong impression it leaves on someone. Jump out at someone is a vivid and useful phrase in the English language that can add color and precision to your descriptions of experiences, perceptions, and opinions. Whether you're talking about art, literature, or personal qualities, remembering this expression can help you convey your thoughts more effectively. We hope this exploration has made the phrase jump out at you in terms of understanding and usage. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language in our next video.